What's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's YouTube video. This is a week two post hernia surgery update, inguinal hernia on my left side, laparoscopic, all that kind of good stuff. You guys can watch the channel, you kind of know what's going on. But uh, so two weeks in, started to feel really, really good. Right around like day nine and 10, I was feeling amazing. I was getting 10,000 steps a day. I was walking on the treadmill a little bit. Once again, still very slow, but feeling good. Feeling pretty much normal. Still a little bit of discomfort, a little bit of pain now and again, but not really bad at all. So essentially on day nine and 10, I was feeling good and I was offered some uh, FC Cincinnati tickets, which is basically the MLS team here in Cincinnati. The little soccer game was like, okay, perfect. Like I've been there, I know exactly what it is. We don't have to walk super far because there's a um, basically like a city transit. There's a, what do you call it? Um, they call it the connector, but basically like an above ground subway essentially that'll take, um, we'll just walk across the bridge, it'll pick us up. So I told my dad, hey, yeah, yep. Honestly, even though it's raining, Katie and I will go, go ahead and do that. Nice little date night. So we went to the game, but I didn't realize that it was gonna be a little bit more walking than I thought. There's gonna be quite a bit of steps, um, like as in stairs involved, as well as a lot of getting up and getting down because I always kind of forget, it's like when you sit down, you're not the only one that's like determining when you can sit up and move, right? There are people that need to get in and out of the actual like row you're in. And we were right on the edge of the row, so like right next to the staircase. And since it was raining, and also it was a place where you can like obviously go get alcohol and stuff um, at like the vendors and things like that, we were constantly like getting up and getting down from our seats. Along with that, and just like the seats not being super comfortable. And whenever I'm not like whenever I'm upright, I have a little bit more discomfort, so I try to like lean back a lot, and I wasn't able to lean back as much in that situation. So I think I kind of overdid it essentially is what I'm trying to say. So now we are on day 12. That was back on um, just two days ago. So day 10, I did feel really good. Um, end of day 10, going into day 11, not so good. Decent amount of discomfort, a little bit more pain, still a lot of swelling. And I think the swelling is also kind of putting pressure on the wound site and just not feeling the best. So having a little bit of discomfort, a little bit of swelling. Uh, a couple other things to note um, that like during week one are still present in week two. When you cough or when I cough, when I sneeze, when I hiccup, when I ever sort of there's like um, it kind of a jolt to the diaphragm or like just the torso area, it hurts, right? So when I feel a cough coming on or a sneeze, like I try to minimize it and like, <clears throat> and like try to hold it in because if I cough or sneeze too loudly, like it truly does hurt the like area, um, my like lower groin area. So that's still present. Uh, I try to minimize, oh, also laughing. Like, uh, I feel like I haven't had like a true belly laugh because I try to tone down my laughing strictly because of the pain that I do feel when I laugh too hard. So anything from like laughing, sneezing, coughing, uh, I just try to minimize all of it because it does cause a little pain and discomfort. Um, we're still icing, we're still taking Advil because I actually stopped taking Advil. Um, I started taking more Advil after the, um, excuse me, FC Cincinnati game to hopefully help minimize the inflammation. But yeah, um, I feel like I took like 10 steps forward and like probably like four steps backwards. So I still am a lot better than like the immediate post-surgery, the couple days post-surgery, but I definitely like feel like I'm not where I was two days ago or three days ago. Like on the morning of Saturday, uh, 10 days post-surgery, that morning I felt great. And now the morning of 12 days post-surgery, I don't feel as, I go as good as I did two mornings ago. So that's one thing where I'm like, it's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, I think I just overdid it, maybe pushed things a little bit too much. So we're not gonna do any steps. So we're not gonna have like a step goal. I'm gonna move about my day the best I can. I'm gonna support my body a little bit more because that's another thing I stopped like, I started sitting up on my own again uh, without having like a lot of hand support to help me uh, raise myself up. So we're gonna do a lot more supported movement, uh, minimize the steps. And the biggest thing there is like a lot of the next couple weekends, I actually wanna be in um, good shape for. Cause this weekend we're supposed to go to Ohio State. The next weekend I have a wedding uh, for a friend. And then the following weekend, I believe, what's the fun weekend? UC homecoming. So there's just a lot of things like I wanna be healthy for. So this week I'm gonna take it really easy. The only thing I need to do is obviously like do work from my desk. So if I can kind of minimize that or minimize my movement aside from sitting this desk because I have to do that to do work, um, that's the goal. So quick little update. I'll probably update you guys on like day 14 exactly, two weeks post-surgery. Hopefully we're feeling better. Uh, but yeah, still a lot of swelling, a lot of discomfort, still some pain moving around. And then like I said, like coughing, sneezing, blowing your nose too, like putting any pressure. Like I still can't really blow my nose fully. Uh, that's one thing that's kind of frustrating and annoying. But um, yeah, hopefully in two days on the 14th, I'll check back with you guys feeling a little bit better. But uh, we do have a follow-up appointment with the doctor on Friday. So I'll, that will actually technically be part of the week three recovery vlog. Um, but so far, hopefully 
uh, once again, knock on wood, all he's gonna say is like, yeah, swelling's totally normal, continue Advil, take it easy, and hopefully it gives me the green light to go to Ohio State this weekend. I won't be doing anything crazy, but I definitely still wanna go and hang out with Katie's family and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that'll probably be more of a game time decision and just trying to rest up as much as I can this week to make that happen. But yeah, that's a 12 day, uh, or I guess week two, 12 day post-surgery update. Check me out again on the 14th or oh, 14th day of recovery, not like September or October 14th, the 14th day of recovery. We are now officially two weeks post-surgery. So quick little update once again, just gonna do probably like a weekly vlog. It's like, well, it's not even a vlog because it's pretty much me just sitting talking to the camera about my recovery process. As I mentioned on day, I think 12, pushed a little bit too much last weekend. And unfortunately there's a couple things. So basically all of October is super busy. Like every weekend there's something. Like last weekend, MLS game. This weekend, I'm supposed to go to Columbus for the Ohio State game. The following weekend, my friend is getting married. So there's like um, rehearsal dinner, wedding, partying, Sunday football. Uh, the following weekend, what's the following weekend? Following weekend, something else. I forget what that is. Um, Shoot, Ohio State, I have it written down somewhere. Um, oh, you see homecoming. So it's like very, very busy, lots of stuff going on. So it's kind of unfortunate that I had surgery, but also I want to get it done sooner rather than later because I do have a big trip, uh, international trip planned for late November. So I wanted to fix the or issue or get the hernia fixed before that big trip and give myself enough time to recover for that bigger trip. So kind of like short-term goals is to just want, be 100% for that international long trip. And then after that, we'll kind of get back in the gym when we can. But a quick little update so far, just, I just don't feel like myself when I can't work out. I'm literally watching some guy do hill sprints. I'm like, I wish I could do that. So uh, it's kind of one of those things like you don't realize how much, what, what's the flight? Like, you don't miss it until it's gone or don't, you don't realize how much you like it or love it until it's taken away from you. And that's exactly how I feel. I literally had a dream last night about working out. I know it sounds super weird, but like I literally dreamed about working out, hitting my goals. And also I wrote some new goals down um, that I'll probably share with you guys at some point as far as like the rebuild, because they are uh, very long goals as far as like lots of goals to achieve. Uh, I'll kind of read off a few of them here real quick, like fitness goals. And these are gonna be like long-term goals, but basically health, 10% body fat with lean abs, minimum resting, or resting heart rate of 40, maximum heart rate of 220, around 170 pounds, five minute mile, 20 minute sub 5K, uh, free handstand push-ups, L sits, uh, 315 bench, 405 squat, 185 overhead press, uh, I want to get into clean and jerks too. Like I literally wrote down all these freaking goals because I can't work out, but I was like, oh, when I can work out, I want to have some goals to aim for. So probably touch on more of those during like the building phase or the rebuild. So I'll still start with just building back my muscle that I probably will have lost taking about six weeks off of the gym. And then we'll kind of slowly get into everything else um, and more so honestly 2025. But yeah, I just miss working out. I don't feel like I'm as sharp. I don't feel like myself. I feel a bit more worn down. I feel lower energy, even though I'm getting more sleep. The fact that I'm not working out, I'm not moving my body, my step counts down. Like I just feel like a fraction of myself. And I kind of realize like how good I normally feel when I'm healthy, when I'm training, when I'm eating properly, recovering properly, getting good sleep. Even though I'm getting more sleep, I'm not getting as good of sleep because I'm restless. I feel like I'm going to bed, even though like I haven't really done anything. I've sat at a desk or on the couch all day, gotten a few steps. So I don't feel like I've like earned my rest. And it just feels weird. Um, once again, I literally had a dream about working out. All I think about, like once again, watching this guy do hill sprints outside, um, watching once again, when I scroll through social media, a lot of my um, feed is fitness influence. I'm like, damn, I wish I could train. I wish I could go to the gym. So um, yeah, it's a little bit more of like a mental battle at this point. Uh, also once again, it is physical though, cause I like, I don't get out and do my normal walks. I don't get outside for my 10,000 steps. I don't see the sun as much. I'm kind of cooped up in the apartment, things like that. I just noticing like, it's taking a little bit of a toll on my mental health as well as just like, I don't feel like myself. I don't feel as sharp. I literally like, I've been talking to Katie um, and I just like forget words or I just don't feel like my words flow as well because I'm not moving my body. So I think there's a big correlation for me specifically between like moving my body, eating well, and my like just overall focus, energy, attitude, things like that. And um, I'm getting antsy to once again, just get back to my full health. But I know I gotta take my time, let my body heal, but I'll just, I'm just being honest, keeping it 100 with you guys. Like I, this sucks. I'm not enjoying it. I wanna move. I wanna get back to lifting. I don't feel good not working out. And I know that's kind of like a weird thing to say, but like I've gotten so in a routine of working out, the fact that I'm not now forced to not, like once again, I've taken time off in the past, but I've never been forced 
to this extent where I can't even go for like a walk or I shouldn't go for a walk because I might have a little bit of pain or discomfort. I can't even do like body weight stuff because I, once again, have to let my body recover. So it sucks mentally. Um, it's a challenge. It is not something I wish on my worst enemy, just like, but yeah, I guess I take for granted what I used to be able to do as far as like workout steps, things like that. So uh, I basically told uh, a couple clients of mine, I was like, hey, like, I'll be honest, like we, the mindset shift that I have is like, I'm never gonna say I have to work out again. I'm gonna say I get to work out. I get to elevate my physique. I get to try to improve my health. I get to go to the gym because right now when I'm forced to not, it is, um, yeah, it's miserable. It sucks, it's not ideal. But um, yeah, that's kind of the situation I'm in. Got another four weeks of no resistance training. Hopefully once again, like it just gets better and better and I can start to get steps in again. Because as I mentioned, I was at like 10,000 steps. I was feeling okay. And I think I pushed a little bit too much. So we're gonna kind of slow things down a little bit. Um, my follow-up appointment is Friday. So once again, I'll kind of update you guys on week three of recovery, how the follow-up appointment goes with my general surgeon, see what he says, recommends, anything like that. Uh, but for now, we kind of just gotta, yeah, stay sane any way I can. Still try to get outside, get some fresh air in the apartment, uh, outside the apartment, excuse me, things like that. It still hurts to uh, laugh too hard if I sneeze, um, yawning, just like anything like still abdominal wise still kind of hurts. And then if I bend over or move too quickly, there's still some pain there. But yeah, more than anything, um, just, yeah, this sucks. Uh, I, I just hate being forced to take time off because I think my overall health, happiness, well-being is uh, very much tied up in me being able to go to the gym, be active, things like that. So um, yeah, if you guys are out there with that mindset, uh, I think a really good mindset is to have like, you get to go work out, you get to move, you get to get outside, you get to have steps in because trust me, once it's taken away, um, you're gonna miss it. So uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll wrap things up there. Any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I appreciate all the well wishes on the videos um, since surgery, post-surgery, things like that. So I greatly appreciate that. Just wanna kind of keep you guys updated on my recovery journey so far. Yeah, without further ado, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys next time. Peace.